Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in to the Independent Artist. I'm your host, Olivia Versus, or you can just call me Derek Smith. And today, we're going to talk about a couple of things. One of the things we're going to talk about is three things that every artist should do. And then another thing we're going to talk about is four music marketing ideas for independent artists. But before we do that, um, let me get you to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and check out my new songs on Spotify. And before I do, eh, without further ado, let's go ahead on and get the party started. And now, um, three things that every artist needs to do. The first thing is create a website. Obviously, uh, create, creating a website is going to help you uh, sell your products and things like that. It looks very professional. Um, and plus, nowadays with this digital age, you have to have a website if you want to do any kind of business, if you want to make any any type of sales. Everywhere, hell, even online, you can't even apply for a job on paper anymore. You need, um, they tell you to um, go online, go to this website or something like that. And... And with, and with the website, you want to make sure you have pictures and music links, um, or blogs, links, emails, or your Shopify and things like that. You want to have all of that in one concise uh, place. Um, this is something I need to get back on. I haven't checked on my website in forever. I ain't, I ain't even going to lie. Um, if you want to, uh, you can check out my website at www.unlimitedverses.com. You can check me out. Tell me what you think about my website. Um, the next thing um, every artist should do is MailChimp is start an email list. Now MailChimp, now it may seem a bit complicated, at least for me. I mean, it still kind of is. I'm not saying I'm a professional, but um, MailChimp, uh, you want an email list. Obviously, if you want to sell or promote yourself, um, Having an email list on uh, one place is good to go, and it does it is send out it does automation for you. Um, it'll send out email links, affiliate links, or things like that. Any promotion that you might have coming up, say like if you have a song coming up, um, say like with Digital Kid, you can um, have a um, save link. You can, or maybe you can have a uh, what is it? Early registration or early download on your Spotify link. You do can do that. Uh, MailChimp will do that for you. And <clears throat> the third thing that every artist should do is have music at the ready, um, either with DistroKid or TuneCore. Um, it's very, it's very easy to add add music on Spotify. As a matter of fact, about forty thousand songs are being uploaded to Spotify daily. That's how easy it is to add a song on Spotify. Anyone can do it. You can literally do it from your phone wherever you at. Um, me personally, I use DistroKid. Uh, I have affiliate link if you guys, I can, if you want a discount. I mean, it's already pretty cheap. It's 20 bucks a year. I think I want to say the discount, you can get a 7% discount. That's going to knock that down to a few more bucks. I understand in these hard times, every, every dollar counts. And those, those, but yeah, those are the three things that every artist should do. You need to create a website, have a mail, MailChimp and have have music ready to buy. Uh, it's not going to be perfect at first. I, God knows mine is far from perfect. It's it's a little clunky, and that's just one of the things as an independent artist uh, we go through. Um, if you don't have a team of uh, people behind you like a record label, then you are literally doing all that stuff yourself. You're creating your website. You're doing your MailChimp's. MailChimp, you um, <clears throat> you sending out emails and things like that, or you at least you create automations for you to send out emails, and you making sure you have your music ready. It's uploaded through DistroKid. You doing all that, uh, TuneCore, whatever you want to do. Um, that's that's the life of independent artists. Um, those are the things you have to do. Those are, I guess, I want to say, quote unquote, paying your dues. I guess. Whatever, don't quote me on that last part. But yeah. And like I said, um my stuff is not perfect. I'm working on it too. My my website, I haven't uploaded any pictures in a while. I need to do that. Um uh, music link, that's a good idea. I don't know why I have not put any music uh, uh links to my music uh, on my website. I need to do that. But next up, 
we're gonna talk about four music marketing ideas for indie artists. And a lot of a lot of you guys are doing this already, um, or at least you're partially doing it, you're thinking about doing it, or you may be you know, you're doing it but just half assing it. But like I said, you don't realize it. But um the first thing, um the first marketing idea for an independent artist is obviously post content. Um you want to post content every day to YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, um, any of these social media platforms. Um, social media has really tipped the tables to where um, entrepreneurs can really uh, put your product and your uh, services out there um, at, any, at any given moment out to the world at virtually no cost. Just all you need is a phone and an internet connection. <clears throat> And you can um, you can market your stuff. Um, I mean, there's no need you don't um, have to um, look for uh, buy ads in a newspaper or take out radio ads and things like that. No more. You don't have to do that because and plus it depends on where you at. That stuff are only local. Where's the internet? This is worldwide. So posting content every day is is key to our uh, marketing. And like I said, these are these things that we do. A lot of us are already doing. We just might not know we um, that's good marketing, but like posting every day. Like even I don't post every day. I know I should. Um, <clears throat> I should post every day. Um, I'm gonna try to get on it. Maybe I need some people. To, I need some subscribers to uh, keep me accountable. Be like, yo, where where the next video at? When's the next um, podcast? Maybe, you know. Anyway, the next thing is Spotify playlist. Spotify playlist is still a good way to get music out there. Um, it's kind of dying out. It's not quite there yet. But still, um, Spotify playlist is good. Uh, most of the music you listen to on Spotify are pre-curated by either people themselves. One of the things you could do, and shout out to, um, who is this? I saw this video on Dorian from Group 82. And basically, the way I learned it from him is what you do is um, you can um, follow the creators and find them on their social media, and then you can just hit them up. I'm not saying bug them or anything like that, but maybe you can send them links to your music or something like that, or ask them um, one of the requirements to get on your um, playlist or something like that. Or... Find find some type of mutual thing you can do. You know, you always want to give back. You want to. That's one of the things that um, us as artists and just most of us as people that we need to learn. Uh, we so caught up on uh, uh, what can you do for me? What can you can you do this for me? Can you do this for me? Uh, we need to more thinking of how can I help you or how can we help each other? Things like that. And you you you'll get further when you um, have that um, thinking of how can I help you with this? You know, whether then can you do this for me? You know. And the third thing is to go live. Go live. Um people enjoy the process. Uh, people enjoy being processed. Um excuse me. People enjoy um artists being transparent. People really like the um saying um then the long the uh the the process of you making your beats and your drum snares you picking out your snares and things like that people like to see you making your keys and your melodies not only do they learn it they also just to watch to see how you create and because a lot a lot of times we um when we see um our artists create and we see that they uh that they do things that we do similar. It gives us a boost of uh, confidence. It makes us want to go more. It makes us want to go hard. It makes us want to um, go that extra step. Uh, it makes us want to write one more verse. It makes you want to uh, make one more beat for the day or something like that. That's that's what it does, at least for me. Um, when I see someone or either, I think what, what really gets me going is like when I know I have an idea and then say like someone else with uh more um famous, more followers, more money to come out and with something similar to that idea that I'm like, now I know I'm on the right track. Um something like that. I know. So I know if great minds think alike then if me and whoever your favorite artist have some similar ideas, then I'm not saying they still in my ideas or nothing, but yeah. Anyway, and the fourth and final thing you can do is, and this is what I was just saying, 
um give value for for a purchase um I was just talking <laughs> uh Dory from group eighty two is talking about um he um he he gave out Spotify playlists. He he uh, created a playlist and gave out a playlist when you uh buy his album to support on uh, iTunes and that helped him to go number one on um on the charts at iTunes. Um he gave value. Uh, he know a lot of people on uh, his fan base were also independent artists like him, and he gave them the value of having their songs heard on his playlist because he knew he had a following, things like that. Um, artists are adopted, are starting to adopt this uh, model. You can see it with the um, with the merchandise. They're starting to, um, when you buy when you buy an album, you can you get like a signed T shirt or something like that, or you know some shit like that, or you go to a like a special a small venue concert you might uh you might get like a free meet and greet or something like that or some some tickets or to another show or some shit like that like i said before some merch items hat shirt pictures you know things like that like i said you always want to get value um <clears throat> that's something that i struggled with i didn't want to whatever i learned i wanted to keep it for myself because um the way I would talk, everybody was competition, you know. Everybody's competition, everybody's competition, you know. You're my competition. Why Why would I help out the competition, you know? Like, and these were, like, even, like, people that, like, were, like, my, like, friends, right? Certain, like, trade secrets, I wouldn't tell them, you know, because I didn't want, I ain't gonna lie, I didn't want them to be better than me. <laughs> but, you know what? You grow older, you grow. So... It's something that I learned, you know, uh, give value. Uh, I, I love, I like teaching people. I like showing people the things. I like the um, the expression when they learn something new, that, that giant smile on their face when they figure something out or when they have a problem and they realize the answer is right there in front of their face the whole time and then you just show it to them. It's like that that joy you get is, is something else. So I can see why. There are a lot of people are, who are teachers and educators in this world. But anyway, I'm rambling. I'm rambling. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I appreciate all you guys for listening. Um, like I said, um, check me out on all platforms. You can uh, check out the podcast here on Anchor, Spotify, and now recently on Amazon Music. Check me out on YouTube, on Limited Verses, Instagram, Twitter. Um, Check out my um, my music on Spotify, Unlimited Verses. You can check out all my beats and stuff that I made. Um, go to my YouTube channel. There's there's links to um, Distro Kid. There's a affiliate link to Distro Kid. There's also a affiliate link to um, TubeBuddy. Buddy. Yeah, help you with your um, your channel if you're trying to grow your channel. Um, there's a seven. You can get a seven percent discount. Hit that link. And like I said, um, one of the cheapest way to support the um, podcast is to just to subscribe um, leave a message leave a note or something like that share this with a friend or a family member that you know that's an independent artist someone that you know who um might be a good singer rapper producer or even not even that maybe like a manager or something like that or even an a and r someone who has a good ear for music there are a lot of people who have a good ear for music and they they can pick out great talents that's not this watered down bullcrap hip-hop there's we need more people like that uh, who's actually like into the culture of hip hop and not just trying to make money off hip hop. But anyway, I'm rambling as always. And hit your boy up in the comments. Let me know what you think. Y'all stay true. Peace. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And if you like that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, you can go ahead and on the comment, share, and let me know what you think. Y'all stay true. Peace.